Hi, in this slide I want to build on um, stakeholder economics uh, showing a little bit more of kind of the, the cash flow in a business. Um, let's start here with number one. If our sales go up, they go up because the customers are getting a better value proposition. So they're giving us a bigger share of their business on a transactional basis or they decide they want to go down the partner path and give us a lot more share. But as our sales go up, of course, our suppliers love it because we're buying more stuff. Now what happens is more sales generates more margin dollars. Uh, if our employees are able to take care of more sales, but we don't add any employees, full-time employees, full or FTEE, full-time equivalent employees. And the way we do that is we continue to turn losing customers into winning customers. So we have a lot less activity costs uh, for the margin dollar. Or in this, some of the cases of the small customers, they don't like our new service model offering because they want to go paralyze some other competitor who wants to over-service them and underprice them and, and, and be subsidized by our competitor. This allows margin dollars to grow faster than the employee base, so our, our productivity or value added per employee goes up. This is what supports premium wages for a given job niche. So if, for example, Costco will pay 141% of the total compensation that Walmart Sam's pays, but they can afford to do it because they get 158% margin dollar per employee that Sam's Walmart gets. Uh, not be just because the people are uh, only turn over 6% a year instead of 30% and they're more cross-trained and able to do stuff with less supervisors, inspectors, etc. It also has to do with the business model, that uh, a better strategy and leadership and so forth, a lot of things. Uh, but nevertheless, good compensation will attract and keep these people and keep them working together, give, giving great service day in, day out. As a result of it, we then also make more money, as Costco makes more money than Walmart, uh, even though only one way to eight the side. So the, sh the shareholders are saying, this is great, we're winning, but the shareholders aren't getting cash rich. They can't go out and spend it on new stuff because the money gets reinvested back into more inventory and receivables because if the sales go up by 20%, so is inventory and so is receivables, and we've got to finance that working capital. The banks will lend us some money, the suppliers will lend us a payables, but we have to put our own money in there first and foremost to support asset growth. So that's the, that's the virtuous cycle of growing fast in the industry and profitably so, so that all stakeholders get premium economics. Thank you.